Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Brown's Burlesque, where you'll meet such outstanding stars as the very sexy lady of dance, Baby Banks. Two renowned gentlemen of the Tapestry Coinard, Slip and Slide. The exotic, Tarza. A lovely lady who is queen of shape, Izella. That outstanding, renowned comic of stage and screen, Pigmeat Markham and supporting cast, Miss Vivian Harris and George Wilshire. And of course, the very lovely, gorgeous, glamorous Betty Taylor's Taylorette and your master of ceremonies, Dick Barrow. We say on with the show. <laughs> such fine, strong men in here. 
Some of you girls brought some awful strong boys in. Some of y'all brought some fine ones, some tall ones. Woo! Somebody brought a bald-headed one in. I love a bald-headed man. Grass never grows on a busy street. I don't want no man with no hair on his head. But let the hair on his chest grow so long I swing clean out of the bed. Woo! Somebody brought a fat one in. Girls never shirt a fat man. There's nothing wrong with a fat man. A fat man is so warm in the winter and shade in the summer. Ooh, nothing wants a bone but a dog, and he buries that. And looking around again, I see some of you girls did a nice job, and some of y'all did the best you could. A woman can't always get the man she wants. You have to grab what you can get and try to do what you can with it. Sometimes you can't do nothing with them. Honey, you should have seen when I was out with last Thursday. Long, tall, dark, and hungry. He looked at me, and I looked at him. He says, Ah, there. I said, yes, you are, then. You better stay there, too. I don't have the nerve to call me ugly. And if Moses had seen him first, it would have been another commandment. Honey, he had so many wrinkles in his forehead, he had to screw his hat on. No one looked like a double barrel shotgun. Mm, but I loved his eyes, especially one of them. It was a pale pink that kept winking at the other one. You know what? It just reminds me, Uncle Sam did me a dirty trick when he took all the five men and threw them right in the army. He took all four of mine. Take them so fast, he wouldn't let John finish school. Honey, we set up and we waited on them. We saved their money. They sent in it back. Did them a little home from them. And they come back and blacked the eyes and somebody on the shore so and can't help it. Honey, I never will be able to forgive him. Honey, and I'm telling you the truth. Walking around talking about I'm a heavy lover. Honey, they ain't got nothing on the ball. There ain't nothing nowhere. Honey, and call me ugly and all that. Honey, and I sent my child them to know, honey. I sent my picture to the Lonely Heart Club. They sent it right back to me. That roll on the back of it, we ain't this lonely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for right now. Thank you. I like the Hucklebuck. My baby likes the Hucklebuck, too. I like the Hucklebuck. My baby likes the Hucklebuck, too. I don't know nobody, Uncle Buck's like my baby do. See Uncle Buck in the morning, Uncle Buck all night long. See Uncle Buck in the morning, Uncle Buck all night long. Now when dawn starts to breaking, my baby's still going strong. She says, Daddy, Daddy, come on and Uncle Buck with me. She says, Daddy, Daddy, come on and huckle butt with me. Cause when I'm in your arms, that's just where I want to be. She turn the night down low, ooh, she gets in the groove. She begs me, Daddy, Daddy, please don't move. I say, how can I help it, baby, when you thrill me like you do? So she shake it over here and take it over there. She stops it and shake it. I say, wait, look at that. Cause I like the Hucklebuck. She likes the Hucklebuck too. I don't know nobody. Hucklebuck like my baby too. like a woman, she wobbles like a duck, she starts it from the floor and she slowly brings it up, now she likes the hucklebuck, I like the hucklebuck too, I don't know nobody, hucklebucks like my baby do.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, your man of the blues, your truly, Dick Barrow. Now I'd like to introduce that very sexy baby bank.
Adam, this is the... What's that? Give lessons to everybody, the blind, the crippled, and the crazy. From 8 to 80. This is five dollars a lesson, payable in advance. You'll be here tomorrow? Hey, thank you. I'll be looking for you. Howdy done, howdy done, howdy done. Howdy do, sir. I was reading in the paper, at least a friend of mine read it to me, rather. Why you wanted a boy to work? I come down to see if I get that job. Well, I did advertise for a teacher, that's right. You did? But you know what kind of a place this is? No, what kind is it? This is a lovemaking bureau. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh. You see, we teach lessons to everyone how to make love. I see. Do you know how to make love? All my natural life, that's all I've ever done. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. You're a heavy lover. Very heavy lover. Well, I can use you then. Okay, then. You look, you know, all about making love. Now, what? Like that girl's salad, the green stuff I'm talking about now. Oh, you mean your salary. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. I've forgotten all about that. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> Have you been a heavy lover? I'll tell you what I'll do. Uh huh. I'm going to make you happy. I hope you do. I'll give you $10 a week. Uh, who are you going to give the $10 to? To you. To me? That's right. I thought you were the first class lover. That's what I want. No, you want a second rate. I see that now. Why do you say that? Because you're offering second rate money. That's why. Well, that's the best I can do, buddy. Can't do no better than that? Yes, sir. Well, you better get Clark Gable to one of them boys. Hey, just a minute. Come enough. back here. Don't be so hasty. Maybe we can work out a deal. Well, talk business then. That's all I I'll lead do. you around here. All right, then. You know all the fine points about making love? Absolutely. Then you won't work for $10 a week. Positively won't work for $10 a week. Well, I'll split the difference with you. Okay. I'll give you $20 a month. Why don't you say that at first? I'd have been working now. Okay, hang up your hat and get on the job. Hey, somebody knocking on your door, man. Huh? Somebody knocking on your door. Oh, that's see right. who it is there. <laughs> and bring me some cigarettes while you're out there, too. Get up from there and answer. Oh, I forgot for a minute. I thought... What do you oh, think I've got you hired around here to do? Hello. Good morning. Is this the lovemaking bureau? It certainly right. is. Well, I'm so glad because I came down to get a few lessons in lovemaking. Well, you're in the right place, madam. 
Well, uh, my husband says I'm getting kind of old and cold, and I don't know how to make love. He's right. You don't. The average young girl doesn't know how to make love because I haven't taught her. See, I'll tell you. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Because I haven't taught her. Just a minute. Just a minute. Yeah. Let me handle that. I'll call Mr. Hippin' you out, boss. I don't need your help. Okay, Chief. I'm the boss in here. Okay, Chief. Well, madam, as I said before, you're in the right place. With our lessons are five hours apiece, payable in advance. Why, that's perfectly all right for oh, me. Oh, she got the money right there. Let me get ready to go. Yes, indeed. I'm going to start a lovely old girl. No, I like she she's never been in love before, but I start a lovely old girl this time. Okay. I ain't going to stop because I know. Huh? What are you doing? I'm charging my battery. I'll be ready in a minute. Don't worry about me all, boss. Forget, Forget about the right. battery and come over here. Yes, sir, Chief. Well, you know, you told me that you're a heavy lover, dear. Very much. Here's a chance for you to prove it. Okay. This lady is your first pupil. First pupil. I want you to give her a very good lesson. How will you? I have to go to my hour office. If anyone comes in here for me, come in and go. I will. Don't worry about the okay. thing. Okay. Yes, indeed. Little lady, go over and take off your head and come right back here. here. I'm going to tell a little bit old girl in there. Oh, go ahead, bro. Little lady, I understand you'll say your husband wants to quit you. That's right. Because he say you don't know how to make love. That's what he said. He's right. You don't know how to make love. No. The average young girl of the day don't know how to make love. Not the modern way of loving. Everything now is modernized. Yes. Even the cars are being salmonized nowadays. Now, let me tell you something, old lady. You imagine an old man out there. Yes, face. how do you know? Bald-headed. Yes. I know what kind of love he expects right away. Let me tell you, little lady. Have you ever used any tea? Well, I drink it every day at four. No, you don't think this is here I'm talking about now. How about your wine? You like wine? A little at a time. Good. Get a bottle of muscatel wine. Yes. Get your red electrolyte bulb. Put it in the room, make the room all nice and warm and cozy. Get your silk negligee and put it on. Lay back in your boudoir. You begin to drink your wine. All at once you begin to feel high, dry, yes. mellow as a shower. Reach up and grab your sugar daddy mm -hmm. here. You place this hand here. Uh -huh. Now when you start That's to do all. that, you've got to be able to, huh? That's all. I ain't started yet, boss. Don't worry about it. And then what did I say? Oh, don't cheat the girl. Give her her money worth. The girl give you her money, boss. Anyway, no cheating. No. Are you going to tell me how to run my business? No, no, no. I'm still the boss in here. Okay, chief. Madam, that was your first lesson. Yes. Now, if you care to continue, it'll cost you another $5. That's perfectly all right. I don't know. I'm going to get rid of it now. I'm going to get rid of it now. I'm going to stop off. I'm going to love her tomorrow morning when I start loving this. What time. are you doing now? What are you doing now? I'm getting up a little more steam. I'll be ready. Get about the steam and come over here. Okay, Chief. Tell you what I want you to do. What do you want me to do now? I want you to go over there and grab the lady by the digit. Uh, go do what? I want you to grab the lady by the digit. The digit? Yes. You mean the, the, the digits? That's right. Uh, where are you going to be at, boss? Right here. Right here? Sure, man. Right with the digits? Uh-huh. No, boss, I can't bother digit with anybody being around. I'm sorry. What did you say? I can't bother the digit with anybody around. That's what I now, said. Now, listen, young man, let me tell you one thing. Hmm? My father before me ran this office, and he grabbed digits in here. You man? Yes. In here? That's right. Oh, he was an old digit grabber, wasn't he? And if you intend to work in here, you're going to grab some digits. Well, one thing about you is the boss. That's what I am. If you say grab the digits, it's going to be some digits grab here today. Okay, get on your mark. Get on that. Let's go. I'm Come going on, to the digits. Go. Call. You told me. Oh, wait a you minute. You told me to grab the lady by her digits, didn't you? I meant her finger. Oh, boss, you got me so mixed up. I don't know where I'm at myself. Go into the other office, boss. I can go much better by myself. Okay. Yes, little lady. Go over and take over the dress and come right back in. Very serious. Very serious. Very serious. I'm going to love this old girl the way I know now. I don't know about what the boss talking about. Oh, that's He said, I'm going for Stephanie. Well, let me get rid of that. Yeah, now I'm going to solid love this old girl. Ah! You grab your husband here. You place his hand here. That's all. I've been talking. I've been talking. What do you mean? I'm going to be all okay for you. I'm waiting. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm not What do you mean I'm doing? I don't care who's going to run my You're acting right now. And just a minute. I mean, just a minute. Keep quiet. And young lady. If you care to continue with your lessons, it will still cost you another five dollars. Well, but doggone if I ain't gonna pay this myself. I got come on in our office. I want to talk to you. Well, all right then. Hey, what about me? <laughs>
At this time, those lovely Taylorette and an unusual blues march.
Ladies and gentlemen, meet those two renowned personalities of dance, slip and slide. Thank you. 
And again, ladies and gentlemen, yours truly, the man of the blues. And let my motor run free Just keep me moving, baby Cause I'm never out of gas Just as long as you can drive me That's as long as I can last Any curves or any signs. If there's any penalties, yes, I'd gladly pay the fine. Now when the driving gets real good, please don't jam on the brake, cause I've been driven before, and I've got just what it takes. One of the highlights of our evening performance, the exotic Taza.
Say hello. 